what it do, dudes? This is Great White coming at you again with some more Minecraft. Picking up right where we were left off. We were uh, making things happen. About to go explore into this cave. I'm pretty excited about it. We got a lot to do. And honestly, we're probably going to have to make a double trip this time. Because looking at my uh, equipment here, the sword's almost broken. Which I'm assuming I'm going to need a lot. Um, if you don't know already, a lot of spawns show up in the caves. So a lot of enemies to fight. So... This, I don't know how long this is going to last. Mm, I don't know. We'll see. But uh, other than that, the pickaxe is almost dead too. So, yeah. Well, hopefully, we can find some iron pretty quick. And then we'll, uh, yeah, we'll be able to. Oh, jeez. That scared the crap out of me. Oh, man. Whew. All right. Okay, I have a bad track, track record with these things. Hopefully, they'll come out into the light and they'll just get hurt. Of course, that's not how it's going to happen. Die! Ah! Nailed it. All right. Bad start. That was a bad start. Okay, but I was going to say, there's a cave over there, too. So if we don't do so well in this one, if we don't find the things we need, we can always go over there. But let's just let's just get it going. We're going to... Oh, hey, just like that. That was pretty lucky. Let's scout it out first. Make sure nothing's going to come and kill me while we're down here. And, yeah. Looks like we looked out pretty good. Ah, oh, yeah, this is a pretty small cave. Cool. So, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and clear out this cave, pick up all these minerals, and uh, maybe go make up a couple things, and then we'll go and we'll uh, explore that cave. So, I'll talk to you guys in just a minute. I will be right back. Welcome back, everybody. We got some great news, so a couple things happened. I went ahead and I explored that cave, got all the minerals out of there, and I came back here and I made up a few different things. I got a new sword and a new pickaxe ready to go. We created an axe, which is good because we needed one of those again because we're going to get some more uh, wood later. And also, uh, yeah, um, I got a lot of iron, so we're pretty much set on that. If we run out of uh, pickaxe uh, or anything like that down here, we should be good to go. There was that other cave over there, the one uh, right there, but I decided I actually stumbled upon this one, and I figured this is like right next to our home, so why wouldn't we just uh, start exploring this one a little bit, see what happens. So we're just going to jump right in here, and uh, well, let's see what happens. So mark this up a little bit so that no other cave divers decide to dive in our cave. Sounded a little bit weird, but <laughs> we'll just go with it. So this one's a little steeper. It's got me a little bit nervous. Um, I have a pretty bad track record when it comes to exploring caves. I'm really good at dying. Um, <laughs> so we're going to try our best not to have that happen this time. Um, we'll block up that water so the, the, that was coming out of those two spots. So I blocked it up so we could actually get in here. And uh, hopefully this one's a little bit bigger than the last one. And it's looking like it is. Because that goes down there. It looks like there's a little subsection that way. And uh, I see the uh, coal through here. I just want to make sure we're safe before we go too much further. So let's just light this place up. It sounds like there's a witch somewhere nearby, which is bad news because I'm really good at getting killed by witches too. Oh man. That witch has really got me freaked out right now. And I gotta figure out if there's a way to turn off those uh, notifications. Those are kind of annoying, I think. But yeah. Things are looking good so far. I try to light it up every so often um, because once you have it lit up, the, the spawns don't show up um, at a certain level of light. They stop showing up at least. And yeah, it looks like this goes on for a pretty long time. So I'm seeing lots of resources though. So that's always good news. Does this wrap around? Is that my light over there? No, that's lava. Okay. Sure. So... We'll just know the lava area. We'll need to... There shouldn't be anything coming up through there. I mean, there's no way it could without getting hurt, I think. So, yeah, we should be good to go there. And let's wrap around to the other side here. I'm really afraid I'm going to run into that witch. That sounds like bad news. But this goes down there, it looks like. Let's... Hmm. Nothing's going to be able to come up. So we'll start by going this direction. Okay. Oh, yeah, and this just, like, oh, this just branches off so far. This is a huge cave. Oh, man, this is going to be rough. So, tell you what, 
It looks like we're safe right now. Um, save the sound of that witch, which is really freaking me out. But what we'll do is we will check out this one. And then as long as it's clear, I might just like uh, harvest all the minerals that are available. And then head back. Well, head back and uh, and uh, make sure everything's clear. And then once everything's clear, I'll uh, I'll just bring you guys back once we get to a new part of the cave that we're exploring. So I'll clear this all out and get everything collected, and uh, I'll talk to you guys in just a minute. Okay, welcome back, everybody. So I may or may not have fallen down a big old hole in that cave and uh, landed myself down here. Um, I mean, not a huge issue. I could always pillar out if I need to, but it's looking pretty cool. I, I went down here a little bit. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think we, we'll just explore this a little bit together here because it looks pretty cool. Look at that. And there's some lava waterfalls. Oh, man, that's cool. Oh, yep. Ah, that's, uh, I feel like that's going to happen a lot. All right. I don't think those bats will do anything to me. But, um, yeah, let's... Uh, Try to explore a little bit here. I would be lying if I said I was not incredibly nervous right now. Oh, holy crap. Oh, what? Is this not like the coolest thing ever? Oh, good. No, that's, no, that's cool. Oh, this is freaking awesome. I just know I'm going to fall into some lava. It's it's bound it's bound to happen. But yeah, let's take a look around here. This is cool. So it kind of splits off around here and it goes down here a little further too. That's gold. That's gold ore. Okay, cool. So gold we can use to make like um some powered things like if we make a mine like a mine cart thing, we can use that to make powered rails that will like like kind of like cart us around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll use those to like uh, create like a like a rail system to get us around to different build sites and like uh, stuff in our in our area when we get that built up. So that's gonna be cool. Um, so we'll be sure to harvest that. And I just want to kind of before we start harvesting, make sure that your area is clear. We'll kind of do some looking around here. Make sure we don't fall into that lava, which is almost definitely gonna happen. I think this is like the only time you see cobblestone in uh in like the in like nature without it like without me making it is when lava hits water it turns into cobblestone which we'll actually use to create a cobblestone machine so we don't have to like go and like find cobblestone and like harvest it in caves we can just like have a place in our base where we just harvest cobblestone by making like lava flow into water it's gonna be pretty cool but yeah let's uh check it out up here so we got a bunch more iron so that's gonna be good for making tools and stuff and then I hear a zombie. Doesn't sound like it's very close to us, though, so we should be good. We got more coal, more iron. And then this will be tricky. Let's do one of these. And somehow I'll still manage to kill myself. All right, and it seems like that's the end of it, so... Tell you what, guys, that was exciting. This is a pretty cool little area. I like it a lot. But uh, I'm going to harvest up a bunch of these materials. I won't, I won't make you sit around and watch me do that. That's not going to be super exciting. But let me wrap that up, and then, uh, yeah, we'll kind of see where we sit with uh, materials. And, yeah, we might head back and do a little bit more building today, or we might explore this cave a little bit more. Um, but, yeah, I'll, I'll finish that up, and I'll talk to you guys in just a minute. Hey, welcome back again. So... We've been making things happen. I cleared out a bunch of the minerals that were here. And uh, I did a little bit more exploring in like that direction, I think. In fact, I'm not sure where I actually came from. I'm actually pr pretty lost now. Ooh. Oh, geez. Man, that just keeps happening. Oh, man. I am just a mess right now. I'm just like, oh, I'm getting destroyed. I've already, uh, I'm almost out of food now. I already got beat up a few times. There's some skeletons and some zombies that showed up, and I just, oh, it's been it's been pretty rough. But I, I've gotten a lot of materials. I've got uh, all kinds of. I got some gold ore and some redstone, so we can start doing some automated stuff. Um, all kinds of coal. We got so much coal, iron. We have over a stack now. Yeah, things are looking really good. 
But um, there was uh, an area over here that was just covered in monsters that I was going to go explore, but I figured I'd bring you guys in before I went and did that, just because I'm assuming I'll probably just get crushed, and that will be at least a little bit entertaining, I would think. So let's take a look. Um, there's some more gold there is what I was getting, but over here is where I saw these. Now, they may have dispersed since I saw them before. Oh, more gold. But nope, yep, there's definitely still spiders and stuff there, so we're going to... Oh, this is going to be tricky. Is there anywhere that I can just go down a little bit? Nope. All right, well, we're just going to have to find a more creative solution here. Mm. <laughs> I'm so scared. I don't want to die. Oh, a pickaxe died. Okay. Alright, we'll handle that after we kill all these things. Oh, I'm so scared. Should we just go for it? We're just going to jump in. Oh, wait, this guy's going to come and try and party with us. Oh, man. This is nerve wracking. We're just gonna Rambo this. Let's just Rambo it. We're just gonna we're just gonna jump in. Kiai! Yeah! 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 Die, spider! Die, zombie! Ow! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, jeez! I don't know. That was pretty ba. I don't know about you guys. I was impressed by me. Really kept it together there. Oh, we're not done yet. Oh, did I lose my sword? Oh, it's, it broke. <sighs> okay. Hey, you smeared your lipstick. And that's what you get for it. We don't have time for sloppy zombies. Get it together, zombie. Oh, I probably want to harvest that later. All right, keep your ears open for... Those little creeper dudes, the ones that explode. Oh, they get me every time. They're so quiet. They're so quiet when they're sneaking up. And then and then you're dead. And then you explode into bits. That's how it always goes. But things are looking pretty safe now. I don't see any more baddies. So it looks like we should be good with this area. Although they could always drop in from above. We've still got quite a bit of... Uh, we got a decent amount of room in our inventory. And we still have, well, enough iron and sticks to make more tools. So, I'll tell you what I'll do now is I'll go ahead and clean up some of the ore in this cave. And once I'm done with that, we'll see if there's anything else interesting worth exploring. If there's not, we'll probably head back home and maybe finish up the house. I think I'm gonna. I think I know what I'm gonna do with the uh, top of the house. So we'll try and get that finished today too. So that's in a condition where I'm happy with living in it the way it is, and we can move on to bigger and better things. But, uh, yeah, until then, I'm going to cut you guys here. We'll do a little cutty bit, and then we'll be right back, and we'll, uh, we'll either move on with this cave or we'll head back. So I'll talk to you guys in just another minute. Welcome back once again, everybody. So I decided to go ahead and uh, call it quits on the mine. I thought that we got plenty of minerals. There is still a lot to explore. That Oh, it just went on forever. It just seemed like I never ended. So yeah, we decided to call it quits on that, and I came back here because, honestly, there's just so much that I want to do. So... What I have going on right now is I actually went ahead and cooked up most of that iron we collected so that we should be set. We could like build for days, weeks without having to go get more iron, I would hope. But uh, what we'll actually plan on doing is now that I have all this iron, we should be able to go ahead and start doing some, um, what I called it, that's uh, the branch mining or uh, when you go and you dig in a line and you kind of branch off. So we're going to do some of that, hopefully get some, you know, diamond and stuff so we can make some really nice picks and use some of these levels that we've kind of obtained over this, uh, this uh, playthrough. So I'm feeling pretty good about it, but while I was back here, I went ahead and took it upon myself to do a little bit of building, and I made some fixes to this that you probably noticed one already, uh, may have noticed. I switched out the floor here from that uh, lighter wood to the oak wood. I just think it looks better. I don't know. Something about it. it was too light. It just didn't seem like it fit very well. But uh, having the dark on the sides and then the accent white, light wood across the uh, edge looks kind of nice with the darker stairs. And then we got a light floor for the second floor. So I like that. Oh, you probably noticed something else different. I added this balcony finally. So I came out here and I added on 
um, some half slabs wrapping around here. It kind of wraps around the edge, and we get a nice look at the view, you know? That's cool. Again, that's pretty ugly, and I think I figured out pr part of the problem. The clouds. The clouds are really low. I think we can change that in the settings. We can raise how high or low the clouds are. So I think that'll help out with making that look not as bad, but that part still, hmm, I think it looks bad. Let me, I don't know, what do you guys think? You can leave me a comment in, this, in the uh, comment section. Tell me what you think. Do you think we should get rid of that eventually? I'm thinking so. It just looks, hmm, I just don't like it. But if you guys really like it, we can keep it really not a big deal. But uh, yeah, I did that, and then I went ahead and changed some of this too. I got rid of our top hat. As much as I loved it, I, I really miss it, but I think it looks better this way. I added a little step up here. And then we've got another lookout area going over there. Um, we have the ladders. I went ahead and made some changes up here too. So I got rid of the um, just the planks all the way around. And I went ahead and lined the outside with the um, the oak logs. Just because it looks better. Uh, you know, continuity. It's just like the rest of the building. So it's starting to look pretty good in that regard as well. Oh, look at that sunset with the different colored clouds. It's weird because like the, the sunset behind these square clouds looks really good but it looks too real um i don't know how i feel about all this hmm. maybe i'll look into that it just seems kind of strange we might try some different texture packs i was looking at try functional um his playthrough and he's got a really cool texture pack going on i usually like to keep a vanilla which is what we're using right now is the vanilla, vanilla hd but his looks really nice so i might try that out we'll see but um yeah let's go ahead and uh sleep really quick let the night pass because I don't want to have to fight a bunch of things anymore. I don't want to die. But yeah, it should be morning now. So we'll throw some doors on here, of course. And then other than that, though, I mean, really, it all should. Oh, yeah, I added a nice little uh, porch thing here. Um, I'm going to add stairs right here. It's going to look nicer. Let's go ahead and do that right now. Let me snag these real quick. Flop them down right there. Yeah, that's nicer. Cool. So, yeah, I did this little porch to wrap around to. And there's uh, a wrap around the staircase right there. I don't know how I feel about that yet. We might actually just have it be right here or right here. One of the two. But we'll see. We'll see how I feel about it. This, um, the balcony, how it looks over here. I'm not really sure how I feel about it yet. I don't know. What do you guys think? It looks, oh, actually, that's kind of a bad angle. Let's try just from the ground. Yeah, it looks better there, but yeah, it looks like it needs support. I tried to keep it not super far out so it wouldn't look weird, but it does need some kind of support. So I'm thinking what we might do is like fence foundations or not fence foundations. I got arc on the brain, um, just these fences and like have them stretch down and uh, connect. See if that makes it a little bit more uh, supported, a little less awkward. But I kind of like the look of the, of the wraparound. That looks pretty neat. But yeah, it's really coming along. So I'm feeling pretty good about the building. After this, um, we're going to need to build our storage, which we decided will be over here. We're still going to have like a like a kind of like a run through. There might be a rail, like a rail system that'll like come through here and then uh, exit. And then there'll be like, you know, storage on the left and right of it. And then there'll also be like a tunnel leading down into the basement so that we can have access to our furnaces really easily. So that's going to be really cool. We'll also need to get a farm going soon. I saw some cows over there, which are a really good source of meat. Um, sorry, uh, anybody that doesn't like to eat meat. But, <laughs> but we're going to eat cows, and they're going to be delicious. In fact, I've been naming the animals already. Um, here, this uh, this guy. Uh, everybody, go ahead and say hello to Baconator. Oh, yeah, no, it's, it's good to see you. Yeah, no, um, no, it's, it's going pretty good. Um, we were just talking about how delicious you are, and uh, that's it. Oh, yeah, no, I think it's cool, too. See, he likes it. It's all good. And, uh, yeah, we got a nice little pond here, too. I was thinking I might do something with this. You know, maybe make it, like, bigger or, like, do something with it. Maybe have, like, a cool, like, little waterfall thing. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how I feel about it. Also, this whole area needs to be cleaned up. I don't like these weeds everywhere. So something cool you can do is, um, oh, I'll show you really quick here. We have a little bit of time. Is if I grab some of this iron and I go in here, I believe this makes a bucket yeah it sure does so if we take a bucket this is just really fun so i want to show you guys how it works so we got this bucket and then we come up here very slowly and we scoop up some water 
I got some sweet, sweet water. We'll go ahead and just try this. So if we dump this out right here. Oh, I don't want it to hit my chest. So if we do that, you can see hmm, it's not working very well. Well, yeah, there's doing it. You can see it uh, clears out all the weeds. So that's a good, fast way to get rid of weeds. So we'll probably be doing a little bit of that to uh, speed up the process of getting rid of these weeds. It's effective. It makes it a little faster, I think, than going through and just hitting them. And that way it looks a little, uh, a little nicer. There's not weeds everywhere. Okay, maybe hitting them is faster. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. If we get a nice flat area, it would be pretty useful. But you guys get the idea. So that's kind of the game plan. Um, but I think that's where I'm going to leave it for today. Uh, the house is really starting to come together. I really like it. It's almost like a wood castle. <laughs> Which is cool. I mean, sure. Why not? Why not a wood castle? Why wouldn't you make a wood castle? I mean, it, I mean, it looks cool. I like it. I'm proud of it. So, if you guys have any suggestions on um, what we could do with this, something else that would be cool to do, let me know. I'd be happy to hear about it and, uh, you know, kind of consider it. I would certainly make changes if you guys thought of something cool. And also, um... Let me know what you guys thought of today's episode. I mean, if you want the uh, caving, I don't know if you guys found that entertaining. Like, basically what I want to know is, like, I, I kind of cut out a lot of the parts where I was picking up the minerals and stuff. And I tried to keep it more to me, like, actually exploring new areas. Did you like that? Would you like to see more videos like that? Or would you rather see more just building? Do you even care about the caving? Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Just, just let me know what you'd like to see. Uh, I want to make sure that uh, this is fun for everybody. So if there's something you enjoy seeing more... Um, I would be happy to provide that for you. But uh, yeah, if you guys like this video, please go ahead and shoot me a like. And uh, if you're enjoying the series so far, if you're new to it, um, check out the other videos. I mean, they're, uh, I'd say they're pretty uh, entertaining. It's kind of cool to see how we got to this point from where we started. So uh, yeah, but if you're liking the series, be sure to subscribe. I'd be happy to have you on the, uh, on the channel. And um, yeah, you guys just have the best kind of day.